The Collapse of the Revolution The month of October bears historic significance to us here in Grenada, and the wider Caribbean I dare say, as in Grenada's participation in the Cold War, came to an abrupt end with a U.S.-led military intervention which was necessary to restore order to the Sunshine State, which had one week before experienced the execution of its revolutionary prime minister and some of his cabinet ministers at the hands of what was referred to as a military junta. Over time, and under separate cover, I plan to share a five-part series of a somewhat comprehensive historical account of the events which constituted the collapse of the revolution March 13th, 1979 to October 19th, 1983. Please be advised that the following would be taken from Chapter 11 of my still-to-be-published account of the history of Grenada titled, This is My Island. The events which triggered the October 1983 crisis and subsequent U.S. and Allied forces invasion began in October of 1982, when Prime Minister Bishop was pressured to bar Cuban Ambassador Julian Rizzo from further attendance at cabinet meetings. This served to anger the Soviets and Cubans and estranged the Bishop faction from hardline Grenadian Marxists believed to be led by Bernard Cord, then Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. It is also said, though never substantiated, that the rumor of a rift in the leadership of the party manifested itself since then, and Bishop was forced to come out on radio around midnight one night to make a statement asking people to desist from spreading rumors for fear that anyone found to be participating in any such rumor will be placed under heavy manners. It is said that the faction of the NGM, which was led by Bernard Cord, was known as Orel, Organization for Revolutionary Education and Liberation. This grouping, Phantom Orel, was believed never to have fully integrated with the charismatic and accepted faction led by Maurice Bishop. This is where the perceived hardlined communist influence in the NGM originated, and it was thought that Bishop did not stand a chance. It is suspected further that on account of the worsening of relations between Bishop and Cord and the former's reluctance to speed up the rate at which Grenada were to be transformed into a Marxist-Leninist state contributed to an effort on the part of Bishop to better relations with the United States. Prime Minister Bishop, who had only recently returned from an official visit to the state of Czechoslovakia and Hungary, believed to have passed through Cuba, where he was suspected to have had a short chat with President Fidel Castro, his Cuban counterpart, was deposed by the hardlined faction of the PRG and army on October 13, 1983. You're invited to join me as I seek to bring valuable information to you regarding this important part of our pedestrian history. I want to go back to Grenada to teach the Cubans how to fly. They